what's up everybody, my name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Today we're going on Operation Working, where we're finally continuing on with the story. We're gonna investigate the Codex brain coordinates today and according to the Shadow Chamber we should only be encountering Archons and um, Chrysalids, which means that we have a few promotions in the bag if we manage to pull this off. So I guess we'll see. So today we're taking Lena Marina Sparky. I should rename him. There we go. Sparky 007, Sarah Klein, Emily Walker and Elena Dragunova. Here we go. So there we go. Setting down in the wilderness of, uh, I think it's Northern Europe or Russia. And this is the colorful mission. Target coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. So it's definitely not unknown. We know it's um, a combination of Archons and Chrysalids. Because we're doing this mission rather late, we should be uh, okay normally. But I uh, guess we'll see. And we're getting a view ahead of the Chrysalids after our first turn. So they're burrowing underground and they'll pop up in a second. Right next to us, I suppose. So that's three of them already burrowing down. Four of them. Okay. I think I'll start to get the point. And there we have a, a nice view of the gate. Because this is supposed to be the first mission where you encounter a gatekeeper. And I guess we will in a second. And there we go. We spot a couple of Archons on the side there. Uh, they're still clustered together, which is going to be nice when we get the chance to ambush them. So there we go, second turn done, we moved closer. And I don't think these Archons will move all that much. Or will they? Don't think they will, no, they, they, uh, they stand still rather nicely, which means we get the first shot if we want to. Um, I think we should go with an explosive, right? So if we put a Claymore down, then that gets us, uh, it should be 8 damage, so the indication is wrong again. But, 8 damage is 8 damage. So if we put that right over there, I probably won't be able to do anything else with Elena. They don't need shredding, and this way she stays in shadow. Which is also nice, because I can just shoot at that thing without uh, revealing myself. I don't know how she does that, but, because this is pretty... Yeah, pretty loud. There we go. So half their health gone in one uh, one hit. And three Archons join the fray. Apparently, wait. They didn't... We didn't get revealed, which is interesting. So that means I could technically toss in another grenade. The blaster bomb is 9 to 12, so that is... Is that showing me 9 or... It's showing me 10. Because these guys probably have 12 health. Yeah, so if I get lucky, this might kill all three of them. <laughs> if we get the maximum uh, amount of damage. But I don't think we will, but there we go. Might be a few nice kills from, uh, from Sparky. And that's one kill. There we go, one kill and those guys become active probably. And we get Battle Frenzy from one and Battle Frenzy from the other. Which is not that bad. So let's move up and start firing away at these guys. We only need to hit them twice anymore. So uh, this should be fine. So that's going to be 74. Even with a graze that should kill. There we go. And that was a graze. Just mentioned it. And there we go. We get an ambush kill. And then Emily can move up. She still has the... Although, can I actually... I think I can't rend this guy. I could try and move close. I'm not going to get... Ah, I'm not going to get the kill anyway. So let's just move up with the shotgun. Because I want to have Emily be the closest in case the chrysalids pop up. 60% isn't great. But it's something at least. Let's try. There we go. Even a critical. I think the Talon rounds still are bugged. That's a constant critical. And we get a free action so we can put it on Overwatch even. Uh, and then we'll move uh, Lena a bit closer. I've chosen this squad in particular, especially Lena. Because I think she's immune to poison. 
which means that there are three people in this squad that are immune to chrysalids. Because, of course, Sparky can get hit, but she's immune to poison as well. And Emily has Bladestorm, she sh so she will kill any uh, chrysalid that comes near her. But there we go. <clears throat> and we get the Hunter. In this wide open field. This wide open field, that might be problematic. And, but, he does take increased damage from explosions, but I just spend all my explosives on, uh, on those three Archons. I don't regret it, but there we go. In that wide open field, he's gonna be in the advantage. And he goes up immediately, probably tries to take a shot. One of the chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Time is running out, Commander. I do love the voice actor for this guy. Because he's really, really good. Um, now, I'm going to have to get closer. And who better than Emily to do that, just leading the fray. Although, of course, Elena is still in shadow, so we might move up like this. Because the hunter can't reveal concealed units. So if I can spot him with Elena, that would be a nice start. So let's take a look. No side just yet, so I'm just going to move up. So there we go, moved everybody across the field, because of course we can't do much else than that. There's only one person on Overwatch, because I can't do anything else with Sarah than putting on Overwatch. Because I want to avoid having those missed shots on the Hunter, because he gets, of course, still gets kinetic plating. He's probably going to try and hit us. No, he doesn't. Interesting. So Elena, keep moving up then. Oh! Ah, crap. We're revealed by Chrysalids, so that's not good, because she's... She's uh, out there all alone. And she got hit by the Chrysalid Poison. Okay, we need to move in and kill those guys ASAP. But I can't reach her. Okay, kind of made a miscalculation there. Lena can rent... Lena can definitely rent. What else can we do? I think I'm going to put Sparky on overdrive. So she can move twice now. And her cannon shreds. I'm going to try to put it as close as possible in the first move. This unit is relatively agile. And see, can we fire from here? We can, but the shots are terrible. So I'm just going to move up further. And try to hit at least that one chrysalid. I'm compelled. Now we can fire, 88% or 88%. I'm gonna go for 88%, clearly, but I'm gonna go for the one on the right. Here we go. That's seven damage, so that was the least that we could do. Okay, I'm gonna have to put them wide out in the open then. Can I hit something with Marina? Yeah, I can, 73 or 68. 73 is going to be shredding, so... Well, they're both going to be shredding, but... There we go. That was a nice hit, Marina. Nice job. Okay. I want to keep Sarah away from trying to... Hmm. I can move up and even use run and gun. With Emily. Emily has untouchable, so if I can kill one of them... With Emily, that would be nice. Good to go. So let's put it over there. And now we need to check which one can I rend with Lena. Uh, seems like I can rend both of them. So let's just first check s Emily's uh, shots with the shotgun. 88 on both. So might as well do 88 then. There we go. That's one kill. You can't handle me. And then we do Lena rent on the other one. This world is ours. And that should get us at least one focus. And parry, of course. Okay. So one focus from the kill. And then, of course, parry. And that gives us one more move with Sarah. To uh, heal up. Oh, I haven't given her... Ooh, that's annoying. So I gave her one heal, but not more. So I'm gonna heal up... Gonna heal up Elena. 
So we can get rid of the poison and heal her up to full again. There we go. HP healed. Wait, did that not heal the chrysalid poison? I didn't see the poison removed. Tracking shot mark. That's fine. Not far enough. I'll give you a sporting chance. So that's just going to give us an area of uh, effect there where we need to move Lena out of it. So that means I should probably move up with Emily because Emily can actually defend herself against upcoming uh, chrysalids. Here I come. So let's put it over there. Nothing yet. And then we're starting to get into the weirder area. So let's move her over here. Finally. And there we got one of the chrysalids. So that's exactly what I was waiting for. The sword ignores armor. So he's gonna he's gonna try and hit us, but. Blade storm. There we go. Okay, so we have a perfect counter against chrysalids with blade storm. You want some more? We just got need to. Need to move out of the way of the shot. And we get the gate. Not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this definitely Oh, and there's the gatekeeper. Crap. Thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Well that's not good. We do get a an overwatch shot from uh Elena, which shreds three of the armor. But this is not good. This is not good, because we're way too close. We're way too close. Okay, didn't expect to see the uh, the gatekeeper here already. I think, however, that we have a nice shot with the Shredstorm cannon. Oh, this is interesting. So, because... Oh, I can freeze him. Wait, that's a good, a good idea. But I couldn't random anymore, because, of course, I would move back into the range of the shot from the hunter. So I'm just going to use my Frost Bomb on the uh, Gatekeeper. Although I'm first going to shred it with the Shredstorm Cannon. So Shredstorm Cannon, here we go. So let's take a look at where we hit it. Right over there. I don't think that hits anybody else. It does hit the, the rocks that Sarah is hiding behind. So let's just move it like this. Yeah. There we go. Shredding all of that. That takes... What the hell was that? I think I heard one of the chrysalids being very, very mad at me. 59% is basically nothing, but it goes nothing. There we go. Miss, because those gatekeepers are notoriously hard to hit. But then we can actually use the, the frost bomb to take it out of commission for now. There we go. And the gatekeeper is not immune to being frozen. Ooh, Todd. Okay, he Todd immediately, but he lost an action point, but that means he can still do something. Is he gonna open up? Yep, he is. Of course he is. Crap. Okay, gateway, that's gonna hurt. But we do get a shot from Sarah. It's not gonna help us much. It even missed. Yeah, he's gonna damage us quite severely there. We did get untouchable. They won't hold up long at this rate, Commander. I was hoping I'd at least get a laugh out of this. Okay, so the gatekeeper needs to go. We get another tracking shot from the hunter. Thought you could hide, eh? But that's not too bad. I can move out of the way of that. But it's that gatekeeper that really needs to die now. I have Sarah's restoration to heal up everybody. But, uh, yeah. Let's move. Um, let's move. Just let's move. He, sh she's being marked at the moment, so I need to be careful with how I move. I think if I move just over here. Let's move already. There we go. And there we go. We get, get another crystalite, but he's gonna die because of the blade storm. There we go. He even flies up a little bit. <laughs> he's just, just going to be there now, I suppose. And another one. Ah, keep him coming. Keep him coming. Keep him coming, boys. There we go. Even with 10 damage, the chrysalid just dies because we ignore armor with the uh, 
the katana. Don't worry about them. The elders have plenty more to spare. So, uh, there's a few ways we can take out, take this thing out. I'm gonna leave banish for when we actually fire at the hunter. Uh, so I'm not gonna move up. Maybe I'm just gonna move up in full cover over here. There we go. So we get a little bit closer. It's 99%, so that is fine. Um, I could do dual strike, but it's not gonna help me much. Um, yeah, no. Anything else is just gonna be a waste. So let's just fire. Blamo, six damage on that uh, puny gatekeeper. And we. Ooh! Oh, didn't realize it was going to do that. So it goes down again. And we missed that. I don't know if I can fire twice now. No. This weapon requires ammunition to function. Ooh, okay. This is going to be interesting. Because I did put Emily over there in the uh, assumption that I was going to kill this thing. This is going to be bad, isn't it? This is going to be a mess. No, not good at all. Okay. So then I'll be able to... Ah, I can still rend it. That's good. I think this thing does explode, though. So if I can avoid rending it, that would be nice as well. I do get... Ooh, Volt does more damage to this thing. Yeah, Volt, definitely. I hope... Ah, Emily was too close. Okay. Every shot... So I'm just going to move everybody up and then we can do a restoration with Sarah to get everybody back to uh, mostly full health. There we go. Restoration 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Aha. Aha. That kind of makes sense. So we can't heal up the mech because of course he doesn't have tissue. Or she doesn't have tissue. I should keep calling her she. Sparky is a she. Now get out there and fight. Okay, now we'll get some robots. Ooh, and more chrysalids. More chrysalids. Okay, they went back and forth there for a second. And the hunter is still in the back there. Aha! But he moves closer. I'm guessing he's going to use Mechlord now. If you keep pressing on like this, I won't have any choice but to kill your people where they stand. We've got our shot at the Chosen. Let's make sure it counts. Our flank is exposed. Enough pleasant. Oh crap, grenades. Ah, it's just a dazed grenade, but of course the mech is immune to being dazed. Okay, so that's not a problem. And Lena can actually... Re soldier down. Get to him before the Chosen do. That's nothing. Calm down, Bradford. We're fine. So let's move Lena right next to uh, Elena. That's going to get her out of the daze immediately. And she's not going to be disoriented because of their bond. Then, I can actually hit the uh, hunter from here. And it does seem like he takes increased damage. But I first want to get rid of that acid. Uh, acid? No, armor. And I'm going to use acid to do it. Um, there we go. Launch the acid bomb right over here. Because I don't care about this area one bit. I know, of course, I would have to uh, clean that up if I want to go melee range. But... He takes increased damage from explosives, so that's nice. He's the, the, the armor is removed, and he is now acid burn. And what's even more fun is that Elena, as far as I'm uh, Lena, as far as I'm concerned, is immune to acid. So I can just move her in here and rend the hunter, maybe from over here, so he's she's in a nice position. And there we go, immune, low profile. Taking more damage from Templars, of course. And he gains low profile. We get a parry. Done. I could try and fire at the Hunter now, but of course he has increased damage resistances now. But if I reload Sparky, I could probably 
try and wreck his cover. I have two shots anyway. Um, so let's try this. It's very low percentage shots. But I want to see if I if I can take care of that tree. Oh no, I can't fire twice, right. I'm going to have to take care of the chrysalids first, I think. So I'm going to put... Uh, Emily over here. And there we go. We get another chrysalid? Yeah, okay. Come on. Give that to me. There is nowhere to hide. I'll blade storm every single one of you. There we go. Taken care of. How many is that now? And then we can use I our position to... Some of the slip there we go. Fire once. Ah, uh, and of course we don't get a critical. I kind of forgot about that. Um... I could let Lena actually... Huh. That would also be an option. Just give Lena another action. There we go. And then we can rent the uh, Hunter again. There we go, let's rent him again. Blammo! He got shielded there, but uh, of course, he gets hit again. Harry, uh, I think I can actually move to the back here. And hit him from over here. There we go, that's a flank shot. It's 74, but it's something at least. If I get a crit on this... Ah, uh, we miss... And now, I think we now took out the tree. And of course, he gets shielding now. But it's removed immediately because of the acid burn. Okay, let's see what he does right now. The chrysalids are gonna probably bump into Emily. Yeah, there we go. That's one down. Another one. All coming down to the slaughter. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Blade Storm is just overpowered. That is just free strikes against anything that comes into melee range. So melee, melee enemies are just... Hey, why did you get a hit first? <laughs> That's just a pile of chrysalids. That looks, that looks horrifying. And the noise that makes. And we get Maclord. Okay. But they're inside of acid. So this is going to be interesting. Ah, but we still have another acid bomb. So I'm going to take care of that in one go. Okay, he moves over there. Time to go. Hunt the rifle shot. This no. Ooh, that four armor saved Sparky. And what's brutal. You must really be something special, Commander. Okay, so he got some sort of advantage from hitting Sparky there, but Sparky is on his uh, on their last legs there. Uh, I can't get close with anybody here, I think, unless... No. Even with Emily, Emily on running gun, I can't really get close enough. I could try, but I need to get rid of that uh, those Overwatches first. So, Marina, you still have an Acid Bomb, don't you? And since they are in acid there, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wreck their day. There we go. And with volatile mix that can go up to eight damage. Or no, seven damage probably. Okay, six. Volatile mix, shredding, overwatch removed. Um let's see how far can Lena move. How far can Lena move? I think I can rend them. I think I can, yeah, there we go. We can definitely rent the uh, the hunter here. Okay. Then I think we're done. Because I could try and fire at... Ooh. Oh, this might also be it. You know what? Let's just banish the, uh, the hunter. I do... I have less chances of this. Ah, uh, banish takes away 15% of my hit chance. And of course, Miss Schultz. Oh no, no, no! I can't risk that. Miss Schultz uh, will do. Uh, will give him shielding, so I don't want to do that. Um, I'll j I'm just going to random because I know that's a guaranteed hit, and that should kill him, I think. A focus of power. And we're still immune, so going up. 
slashing. There he goes. He dropped his weapon, so I'm gonna... Yeah, he's down. We get a focus, and now the only problem that might be here are chrysalids. Okay, Barry. I need to reconsider my tactics. We've proven the Chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Let's banish one of the mechs here. Although I, I don't know if there's going to be something popping out of the... Popping out of the... I don't know. Popping out of the gateway? I have no idea at this point. Let's move up a little bit closer uh, and fire at Still those mechs. Out. I haven't put blue screen rounds on Sarah, but she has incendiary rounds, which is pretty good as well. That's one hit on the mech. Then we get Emily. Emily, Emily will probably be able to kill just one of them outright. So if I just move, I should probably not try and get hit by the acid if I can, if I can help it at least. So let's just move uh, Emily over here and fire at the front mech. That kills it in one go. And then I want to go for a trophy now. I think you get a trophy if you kill a mech with a mech. So uh, Sparky. Can you move a little bit closer? Come a little bit closer, please don't get acid burned, because I might have killed you there. There we go, we get an advanced hair trigger from the loot before it acid burns away. And now we can just try and kill this guy. Oh, we missed. That's too bad. Okay, fire away. Flammo. And that's that. Status confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. Status All right. Confirmed. There we go. We've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tigan and Shen to figure out what this thing does. And the hunter was defeated once more as well, giving us five more ability points. There we go. Excellent. So I really need to be careful with my placement of Sparky, because I know she's great. She's amazing. But uh, she's very vulnerable since we can't take over with her. would drive us to surrender without a fight. So, um, 15 days out. The mech is 15 days out. Uh, so that's that's going to hurt a little bit. But uh, let's promote her nonetheless. We either get intimidate when targeted by an attack. The enemy, enemy has a chance to panic. Ooh. Or wrecking ball while overdrive is active. Breaking through walls and cover... Ooh, break through walls and cover when moving. I wanted to have that in the last mission, the mission we just did. So I'm definitely going for Wrecking Ball. So uh, there we go, Wrecking Ball. The Other than that, Sionic Gate. From the field resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself, it will take time before we can truly understand the gateway's function. So we're starting to enter the end game here, because of course the gateway is a very important item for the ending of the game. But advanced hair trigger as well, and then three Archon corpses, nine chrysalids, a gatekeeper shell, and two advent mechs. And uh, we get the gatekeeper autopsy because last time we got an ambush, so we didn't get the corpse. So our initial readings of the old spherical creature we encountered show it to be of immense psionic power, potentially rivaling that of the elders themselves, which is why Lena does more damage, because it's a psionic unit. It may be possible to reverse engineer its biomechanical components for use in our own equipment. Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. It will be up to you to determine not only how it functions, but exactly where this gateway leads. So we get the gateway, 201 supplies, and the Avatar project is reduced by two once more. So we get a little bit more leeway on there. So now we need to upgrade this shadow chamber so we can complete the psionic gate project. In order to analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first, Commander. The elders twist reality to allow their armies to pass through from worlds they have already conquered. This gateway is one of many. And it presents a great danger to us all. 
I think I'm gonna make a second spark unit. I do like the spark units, so uh, let's make another one of those. Uh, so that is that. I think we should probably also get another experimental powered weapon then. Because uh, the other suits... Hmm... Psionic... I could try make a raid suit as well with my remaining supplies. Uh, I'm running out of Valyrium slowly, but I think I might get a bit of Valyrium from the black market. So I'm just going to make that raid suit as well. There we go. There we go. So there we go. Reducing the Avatar project by two. Giving us just a little bit more time again. clearly did not intend for this artifact to be found, Commander. Its loss will no doubt be a significant blow to their efforts. So we were building, if I recall correctly, we were building a radio relay. Yeah, over here. Do you, Commander? Go ahead. Open the gate. I dare you. Well, Hunter, we won't be opening the gate before we actually kill you. But let's finish building that uh, radio relay over there. Because I think we're pretty close to a supply drop as well. I'm guessing we're going to get another mission before that. Yeah, 10 more days until the supply drop. But there we go. Radio relay done in the new Arctic, and we get 106 supplies from that. That allows us to make contact with East Asia, and I think I'm going to do that, because I don't think... I think we still can make contact instantly, right? Yeah, instantly. So only 40 intel, so let's make contact. And skip that. There we go. And then we could do that again, and we can go to New Indonesia as well. So this is a prime spot for another, uh, another radio relay, so I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to make contact just yet, because that takes 80 uh, intel probably at the moment. Let's go back to the black market. Avenger, and let's grab the Illyrium crystals for 30 intel. There we go. That's added to our inventory. And then we can go back out. And then I'm just going to go to Reaper HQ and start uh, gaining some intel. Because the only other thing is a bit of supplies. That it takes six, six days for what usually amounts to around 60 supplies. Which is not something I really need at the moment. And we got a guerrilla operation immediately, so... Let's review the target. So we get a very difficult mission in South Africa. We get a scientist in return and we can counter the signal jamming, which is actually the thing that I want to stop. The scanning times are greatly increased, it's going to slow us down immensely. Then we have New Brazil where we get an engineer. There is a risk of ambush and all covert actions, not that much of a problem, and it is a difficult mission instead of very difficult. And then in West Asia we get supplies and we don't know what we're gonna counter. So I'm yeah, even though the reward isn't really that interesting, another scientist isn't gonna help us that much. But uh, South Africa is where we're gonna go next. Okay, so we can send spark units in when they're uh, broken, but of course we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna remove him. Her, her, god damn it, her. And this is going to be the team for that mission. So we're going to go with Erica, Marina, Jacqueline, Hilda, Kelly and Heidi on this mission. So no Reaper, no Templar and no Spark unit this time. We're going to have to protect that device to get the scientists. So uh, hopefully we manage to pull that off. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. And hope to see you guys in the next episode when we uh, go on Operation Unholy Heart. Thanks for watching and goodbye.